Hi, this is Jim Shulman and today we're going to be looking at profiling different kinds of profiled shots with the Lilith Bianca. Um, what I'm going to do is make two different kinds of shots using two preloaded baskets of coffee. The first is um, a basket filled with 15 grams of regular espresso grind coffee making a conventional espresso shot. The other is the same basket also filled with 15 grams uh, but this time Turkish ground coffee uh, from a bun LPG grinder with specialized Turkish burrs. Uh, this will be a extreme profile shot with soft pre-infusion and a very long slow flow roughly two minutes long. So, and we'll talk about, now, one of the things that is interesting about profiling, I mentioned we've got 15 grams in each basket. Um, before, if I'd wanted to do a Turkish grind, I would have had to have used um, well, it would have been more or less impossible. I would have had to have used about 8 grams in a regular double basket in order to get any sort of shot that didn't choke. Um, but normally what we did was if you wanted a finer grind, you had to dose lower. If you wanted a coarser grind, you had to dose higher. With profiling, you can use the same dose, vary the grind, and just go with longer profiles. This is because the soft pre-infusion softens and blooms the puck so that it doesn't matter how fine you really can't choke the shot anymore. So we will start with uh, the conventional shot and we'll put this in the PF. Okay. And the first thing we'll do is we'll set the paddle mm, to about 60-70% open and this will, with luck, uh, slow down the ramp up so that it will be like a conventional E61 shot. I'm also going to turn on the scale and check the weight of the shot. We are starting with 15 grams. Over here you will see the shot timer, uh, which is now ramping up. And here, if you watch the manometer, you see that at 7 seconds it starts rising. It hits 10 bar at, at uh, 10 seconds, just like a good E61. And we start with a dripping flow, which accelerates over time, gets faster. And we are at uh, 10 grams after 26 seconds. And we're hitting... 22, 23 grams at 38 seconds, which is where we want to stop. And here is a conventional espresso shot. It took a little longer than usual, but that's the E61 with its long pre-infusion. Uh, we have a brew ratio of about uh, 1.5 parts of water to one part of coffee. And what do we have as a taste? Well, I can't really show you the taste, but I can report it. And um, we have a very nice, this is the Tikor Ambesa, a, a, um, a, a lightly roasted, but for espresso from Intelligentsia, an Ethiopian coffee. And this is classic Ethiopian espresso, fruits, fruits and flowers on top, a hint of chocolate at the bottom, very much separated flavors. Um, a nice comfort food shot. Now, we're going to knock out this puck and we're going to come up with the other basket. And um, I'm going to set this up again and turn our scale back on because it's timed out. And now, what we're going to do is start the shot 
and watch here, watch as this rises, I'm going to turn the paddle almost all the way down so that we stop at about two and a half to three bar and now we're going to wait until we see the first drops and we're at 20 seconds and here's the first drop at 22 seconds and now we're still going to wait we're going to go about 30 seconds of soft pre-infusion and we have all of half a gram of coffee after 30 odd seconds. Now we're going to go all the way up and we're getting a very s slow flow and as it goes we're not going to allow it to accelerate. Instead we're going to start throttling the pressure so the st flow stays very low we are at 10 grams. I'm going to lift this a little bit so that the thing doesn't time out. And we're at 70 seconds and we're at 15 grams. And just to show you that you don't need to make monster lungo shots, we're going to slow down the flow some more. And we're up at 20, 21 grams. And are we clear? I'm going to look. Uh, we still need to go a little longer because the flow is not quite clear and we're up at 28 grams and I'm going to cut it at 30 grams, a brew ratio of about 2 which is a little higher than I wanted I should have, I've been talking too much and I should have choked the flow a little bit more but this should get to the right taste which I've been trying out the last few days anyway, let's see oh yeah, here we have it no fruits and flowers on top, no chocolate on the bottom, a single fused taste, which is extremely aromatic, a little acidic, a bit like walking through a garden that's growing both spices and flowers. But it's really different from a brewed, well, maybe some brewed coffees are like this, but it's really different from anything I've ever tasted before in my life. Um, and it... I mean, I can tell it's an Ethiopian coffee, but it's, it's more like the way the coffee smells rather than the way an Ethiopian coffee usually tastes. So, but taste aside, I, I was using this Tico Ambesa because it really responded to different profiles. But taste aside, um, what I wanted to show was the extreme flexibility of a profiling machine and also as an advertisement for this particular machine, how completely easy it is to do this on this machine. So thank you and goodbye.